Hello and welcome. I'm not very happy. After waiting for a month, I've had this email from YouTube. Hi Rebel for Jesus. We have reviewed your appeal for the following content. Video Jeffrey Epstein and the Isaac Cappy kill switch. Might need to mention this was my most popular video. It had about 6,000 views. It was recently experiencing a surge of views and may have even taken me to 10,000. It's been up for over a year. We have reviewed your content carefully and have confirmed that it violates our... Her I mean, that is just nonsense. They haven't reviewed it at all. They've just waited a month and emailed me back no. They had no intention of putting it back on. Have confirmed it violates our harassment, threats and cyberbullying policy. Well, I'm talking about child te sex traffickers and paedophilia, you know? I'm not threatening, harassing anyone. They're bully YouTube are bullying me. We know this is probably disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. You know, a safe place for child sex traffickers and paedophiles. How this affects your channel, I don't care. Because I'm just sick of it. I want you to strike me off. I want you... I'm <laughs> Dear YouTube, you are bullying me. And I'm taking my case to the United Nations. You are clearly protecting paedophiles and sex traffickers. And one could conclude that you, as an organisation, support paedophilia and child sex trafficking. Disgraceful. Don't think that by bullying me and restricting my freedom to speak will in any way get you off the hook. You are just making it worse for yourselves. Repent, repent. You know, I'm just giving them my best advice there. So, like I say, this video has been up on YouTube for um, over a year. Um, you know, never had any issues. Good day. We got Epstein dead or fake death or whatever. We know what he did. He was involved in child sex trafficking now he may have been working for Mossad so then he's an undercover child sex trafficker potentially so we've got child sex traffickers it's a business now haven't we always been wondering on YouTube what the elite are up to? You know, the reptilians just getting their kicks from slaving the human race. What were they into? Well, it seems they might be into some weird shit. And <clears throat> what I'm going to suggest right now is quite shocking. But looking at Isaac Cappy's kill switch video, which is 15 seconds on repeat of young girls, premature, looking about seven, six, something like that. And we see two of them in the foreground doing some stuff with water jars. And they're in this uh, marbleized interior. They're wearing barely anything. There's also two girls in the background who may look a little bit older, but not that much. And then we have to assume we've got someone standing there filming. And at one point the girl stands right in front of this person filming. You know, maybe... Because you don't hear what she says, I don't think. 
And this is what I'm going to suggest, which is quite disturbing, is that what do these girls know about reality? And what's bothering me is thinking that people have taken maybe girls and boys from as young as babies, maybe even fetuses, and they've grown up in a cut-off place where they have no idea what reality is. I mean, this, I'm assuming, is Isaac Cappy is there, and he's taken this video as to use as a kill switch. And this girl might not even know what a phone is. They might not know anything about the outside world. They could have been told anything. And I can just see how it fits that the elite would get their kicks out of this. And they could have different areas all over the world. And, you know, in, in, in these, let's say, these particular girls think something about reality and you go somewhere else in another set and they've got a completely different idea of what reality is except probably they're used for pleasure you know that's going to be the consistent thing in this reality is that those young girls those young souls those daughters of God are being used like this now there's no proof but this to me is where the evidence is pointing I mean what is Isaac Cappy trying to tell us you know this isn't some sort of uh, honest and innocent thing going on here like they're just pretending to be from ancient Greece or something and pouring some water around I mean you know, this could be cruelty maximus. And the fact that, you know, there's so much cover ups going on over this over these child sex trafficking whatever you wanna call it. Um, how they've protected the the politicians who were accused of it in this country, Edward Heath was pretty well known, everyone knew he was. There's there's known stuff about paedophiles in government through Hedwina Curry's diaries that David Icke just talked about in the video today. And obviously um, taking out Epstein or him being fake taken out. I mean, hopefully this truth is going to come out. And I mean, you know, I think we should all start being a bit more honest and admit that we have some sort of problem with with lust and sex. I mean, sex sex is supposed to be made out to be this great thing that you can do lots of times and. We're going to have vaccines so that we get rid of sexual transmitted diseases and you can buy all the paraphernalia, S&M, stuff like that. So sex is sold to us like that, you know. Um, and then girls, as they're sort of maturing, they sort of learn that they have this power over, you know, they can make men drool or, <laughs> you know do things for them and you know it's all a bit sordid really um, I personally I've gone into my lustful yearnings and I've worked it out you know we're seeking we want to be reconnected with with our mother God and we actually think when we get lustful yearnings that what we want to do is have sex I mean obviously ourselves want to procreate that is something in us but I have understood the error of lust. But I also know that 99.9% .9 of people ha probably haven't. 
and I think we should be a bit more honest about it. But obviously, if this sort of stuff is going on with these girls, you know, they need protection and obviously the truth needs to be exposed. So, let's hope it does. Ciao. The truth needs to be exposed, correct. And how can we expose the truth if YouTube are deleting, removing the video? Now, did anybody listening to that as witnesses notice any harassment, threats and cyberbullying? Uh, no, I think I was listening pretty carefully and I don't think I uh, threatened, cyberbullied or harassed anyone of anything. So I'm the one being cyberbullied and harassed and I'm going <laughs> to make a big noise about it. Okay, thanks for listening. You're a witness. Thanks for now. Bye.